right back. That'd be huge. So Hillstead, who replaced Cooper Lagar a couple weeks back. UConn showing zone here. Three deep, five under. They're going to try to force you. Hudson Lee, former All-Mountain West honorable mention. Brett Buckman is the returner for UConn. So after the interception, Utah State goes three and out. It's the play that's getting all the rage. So Jelani Stafford, by the way, into the game in their Grizzly package, and he gets the handoff here. He's a defensive tackle, and he's a running back back in high school. And he gets a couple. That's a alert quarterback draw. Here comes pressure, though, from Utah State. Quarter in motion. Gets the pitch. Tries to dance forward, but he is belted. Devin Dye, who had the interception on the leash. Madison, we're on first and second down. He made impressive tackles, but then on third down, he had the interception. George Carrington in the punt. Micah Davis, the returner. Davis is speedy. In plus Terry. Booth in motion, first and ten. Freshman Hillstead, who has an arm, but that time too bold. And it's intercepted by Jackson Mitchell. He had a targeting penalty last week. We again, had to watch most of the game against Duke on the sideline after picking up a first quarter targeting. Porter gets the sweep around the edge. New Mexico transfer who has wheels past mid from the 46. This is Cam Edwards. who got work for the first time this season last week against Duke, 12 carries. Maybe loses a half a yard on that play with Barthiel on the stop. For Second down and 11. Edwards again. Maneuvers forward. Keeps the file. And then stopped down right around the 40. So it'll be third down and a few. Third and five. You call it Ross the run. Edwards first down and then some. Taken down at the 30-yard line by Tafisi. An explosion of a... But that's a very apt description of the quarterback position. No robots, no Cowboys, somewhere in between. In the NFL, didn't the Cowboy lead the league in interceptions last year? <laughs> to the flex, Edwards. Finally, Dick Charlton put him in. In that fullback spot. Touchdown against FIU. That snap came quick before UConn was ready for it. And the officials blow it dead. Looking. First and 15, Edwards, sophomore from Norwalk, Connecticut, inside the 20. MJ Tafisi, the first to meet him. Really love the desperate. Jolly is the tight end here. 12th play of the drive, and once again, a free snap penalty. Looked to me like the left guard. Rosa. To about the one. Anthony Switzer prevents the touchdown. Second and goal. Well, and goal. Stafford the kick. <laughs> and he gets in. Touchdown, UConn. 6 1, 303 pounds. A Youngstown State transfer, Jelani Stafford. Second touchdown this season. UConn bringing in Stafford. Joe McFadden to kick the extra point. Connects. And UConn on top, seven to nothing, late in the first. Jelani Stafford not only getting his second and 14. Hillstead on the move, gets rid of it, and that one's tipped and picked. Through the hands of Bowman, and Chris Sheeran hangs on. Other than the fact that they are inexperienced, and they're usually playing against bigger, more physical teams. Roberson, roll out, sets his feet, unleashes deep, lots of contact, and flags down. There she is there. Regardless, offsetting penalties, Roberson keeps it with an impressive juke. Roberson on the first down. Saquon Roberson, the Penn State trailer to nothing in the second quarter of this season. Second down and nine to go. UConn with Roberson. Roll out, throws it. Jolie Jukes, flag. He's in, touchdown. Jelani Stafford, the fullback. Fourth down. Instead, it's a rollout. Wide open, Nick Harris. Everybody thought the Grizzly would get it, and Stafford. Offensive start. They're known to turn it around quickly. Constantly punts. Buck mid fair catch. Punt by his own teammates. And then lets that ball roll. Very dangerous. 
First down, Rosa again to the outside. Rosa turns the corner, picks up the first down and scoots out of bounds. Back to back strong runs by last year's leading. Pretty in block. Why not give it to Rosa again? This time Utah State does have an answer. Short game. Anoka Mingau is the one who wrapped him up. The second half, Utah State with Blake Anderson as the coach, clearly been a second half team. Edwards, no check it, that's Roberson on the key, fooled me, and Roberson skips ahead to near the plays have been longer than the total yardage that Utah State has in this game. Screen, Jolie, blown up. Tuiaki there, as well as Switzer. No. Second down. Roberson. Nobody there. Looked like Porter stopped his route on Yanwu was covering. Another third seems against a tough Duke defense. Third down, ten to go. Roberson on the out. Diving attempt hauled in. Clarcius on the catch for the Huskies, but he's still about a yard and a half shy of that first down. The ball control for UConn in this game, they've dominated possession. Can Utah State finally get something going? Their longest drive this game, 71 seconds, as Robert Briggs gets the first down run. But he's been such a stalwart for so long, he wanted to stay. Pedal to the metal, third down and five. The freshman Hillstead with the ball fake. Out of bounds, has the first down. Rinson runs him out. Perfectly needed. Hillstead screen. Ooh, Royals crunch. Met immediately by Chris Sheeran, who has an interception already in this game. Sheeran read the relief. And long comeback routes for Royals. Can't break the tackle initially. Does end up slipping it, but Flack is right behind to escort him out of bounds. Fourth down for Utah State. But that's why they went to a bowl for the first time since 2015 last year. It's good defense, takeaways, and run the rock. Coach Jim Morris said they had their best weekly practices this week. Buckman, fair catch. He's asses in preventing them. The oh, the Chris, I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> okay, I Here comes so. the drop pass soon, <laughs> UConn fans. Rosa, you can play me. Flag down on the outside run on second down. An ending shoulder injury. Penn State transfer hands it off. The sophomore from Bristol, Connecticut, Victor Rosa, across midfield, gets to the 45 yard line. It's his 33rd year coach. <laughs> A little bit of an age difference. Off the edge, Roberson gets rid of it. It was pressure coming off the edge with Spires. The bowling green transfer. Third. Is serious tempo. They believe that part of the reason for their second half success is their conditioning. And with Devon Booth, nowhere to go. Devon Booth was one of the players who talked about the from all those other teams. Vaughn, who hasn't been targeted in this game, in motion. Third down and five. A seed over the middle is caught by Booth, and he picks up the first down for Utah State. Hillstead is struggle right past him. It just starts to slow them down a little bit where they got to be ready for that. Hillstead had the most yards ever by a Utah State freshman in his first start last week against James Baddis. God takes over at quarterback. He was the season opening starter for Utah State. And before his first play, early movement. False start. Offense, number 75. Five yard penalty. Blue 80, blue 80, said Hutt, is a little bit different than Hillstead's. Well, God did start this season and. Let's have a lot of experience, including go. Oh God! Strong in the pocket, lasers and caught. Jalen Royals touchdown. Utah State. Those Royals in the back of the end zone. The corner and safety absolutely have to be on the same page there. Honestly, it's one of those deals, Chris, where if they're both wrong, they're still right, right? Like 15 for 19 for a buck three and a touchdown. With Porter in motion. Roberson keeps and goes nowhere. Met immediately by Anthony. Into the ground, so just something worth monitoring as he's headed to the locker room, guys. Well, Kiana there, seeing the same thing that we saw up here. Second down, 12 to go. Roberson checked down. Rosa 
the returner had a excellent return. 28 yards, his first attempt. Picks that one up off the bounce. And is brought down. Special teams. The ball very quickly. This is a really good sign for Lega. Handed off Navon Booth in the plus territory. CBS Sports from New Mexico. Second down and five upcoming. In the first quarter by Utah State. Laga gets rid of it. Complete right at the first down sticks. Micah Davis with Jones making the tackle. Another Utah State first down. The blitz comes from the light. Play clock at just two and a timeout for Utah State. 17-14. UConn leads. Utah State trying to strike to go in front. So now getting a chance to face the Aggies once again. First down, give Edwards. Elects to go out here. Like a reverse wishbone. Edwards Ooh. gets it through the wishbone, or reverse wishbone, whatever Ross elects to call it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Edwards, who gets belted about a couple of yards shy of the first, 32. <laughs> Stafford in the middle there. It's at his Rosa. He stood up shy. Switzer first to meet him. Ross was calling for it to be Stafford getting the carry. Instead, it's fourth down. Being made in the Air Force game in the second quarter is Lagarde. Does the shovel pass to Faison, who has first down yardage for Utah State, scoring on three consecutive drives. Very nifty. Play. Just shovel up behind him. You see the time of possession for Utah State this quarter, more than the entire first half. Stafford, the one to make the tackle on the run from Lagarde. For the 31 yard line. I'll actually say the 30. What about Jelani Stafford as a two way performer? Two way stars. Royals, sideline, PS speed, 4 3 speed, and watch him zoom. He can, in fact, slow down. They fall behind and then rally back. Short kick, Ross receives at the 20 with a flag. Only returns at about four yards. I, I don't understand why you plan which was working. Rosa, outside run. Cuts up the field. Ball slipped out, shy of the 20. Down. They say he was down. But again, there we go, Chris. First down. It's size of UConn versus the speed of Utah State. Second and five. More running. More Edwards. I love and it. More UConn first down. I love it. Thank you. This is this is when I get excited. Move here now for the first time in the second half. From the 46, Edwards tunnels through again, lowers the shoulder, has 10 and a Husky first. Tight end in Hansen. And run behind him with Edwards. Finally a stop. MJ to Fisi. Meets him for no gain. That was even pretty well blocked right there. Tafisi made a heck of taking the penalty here and going for two to try to take the lead. But I think this is the right call. Extra point, McFadden ties it up. 24 all, start of the fourth. And relief of Logan Bonner. Lagarde zigzags, hammered down, but has the first down. Jackson Mitchell known to lay down the wood a few times. A little yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at monitors like that. Rashawn, or Rasul, excuse me, Faison shuffles forward on first down. It said like there will never be Royals. That was yeah. a song a few years ago. I just didn't know how to work the lyric. Could have right done something way. better there. Yeah. Extra point good. <laughs> 31 24. Hey, Utah State doesn't need any clever puns. They just need. We'll see him come across, fake the run. You're almost always going to be late as a linebacker, and then Tafisi's just not fast enough, and Jolie does a terrific job finishing that run. We mentioned earlier in the game that they spring some of these runs. This second half has been fireworks. High snap. Roberson can't handle. On the deck. Roberson picks it up. 
Kind of play that. Robertson fakes the reverse over the head of Rosa. Incomplete pass. So, and they had it set up there. They had two defenders out there, but they had two offensive linemen. That's that's a layup that Roberson has to make. But only three defenders at the top and three receivers. That's the side to go to up top. Roberson pass. Nearly picked, but incomplete. Larson in coverage puts the spear two for four on the year. McFadden sneaks it in. Field goal makes it 31 27. UConn still down four. I mean, they are lights out in the second half of these games. It's just the first half and the first quarter in particular where they're really bad. I mean, they are genuinely bad in the first quarter of these games. At Maverick Stadium, I wouldn't even put the first. All of that space right there. Instead, opposite side of the field. Comeback route, why not? Royals again with Ben Wahad in coverage. Give him a shot. Vaughn in motion. Now look out, goes under center. Hard count. Wow. Fourth and one. Push forward. Briggs has the first down. Brought down around the 36. So on fourth down, they go. UConn looks like they're playing zone. Lagash should know that before the snap. It's zone. It's going to be tight windows to try to fit this in if he throws it. Instead, it's a run. And brings other folks. Oh, that snap hit Jolie, the tight end who was in motion. Wow. That's the third snap related issue in this game from Yukari Walker. For their first win, Utah State looking for their first win against an FBS team this year. Both teams desperate. Roberson on second down. Roll out to the far side. He jumps to get rid of it. Too tall for Jolie. Looked like Roberson had some room if he had won.